guys, this is Miss Sam, and today we have an extremely important lesson, which is expand the notation with decimals. I have great news. I'm gonna tell you how you can win this amazing book of 5,000 awesome facts. So stay until the end so you can hear how you can win it. The first thing you need to do on decimals is your place value chart. I'm gonna write a decimal point, and these are my ones. The ones are zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then on the right side, we have the tens and the hundreds. I'm gonna review from another lesson. The word hundreds and the word tens, which are decimals, have the letters th and you have to write decimal th say it with me decimal th i cannot hear you decimal th so now let's find out the value of each one of the digits well we know that the ones are groups of one so you're only gonna write a number one that's extremely easy then you're gonna write your decimal point and now we have the tens. On the tens, we do not have any whole numbers. So it's zero, then you write a decimal point and a one. So if I divide the whole in 10 equal parts, three of them are shaded. Or if you're thinking of dollars, if you have one dollar, this will be 30 cents, three times. So now here we have the hundreds. The hundreds, if you think in dollars, is like one penny. So this will be like if you have eight pennies. So the pennies, you will write 0 0.01. Basically, you have three groups of tens here, and here you have eight groups of 100. So now we're going to do the expanded notation. The only thing you need to do is multiply this times this. Let's start. I'm going to start with the ones. Four groups of one. Four times one plus three groups of 0 0.1 which is one tenth. So three groups of one tenth plus what's next? If you said a groups of one hundredth, you are right. Open parenthesis, a groups of one hundredth. And that's it. Let's do the second exercise. Write this number in your journal. What do we do first? Our place value chart. So I have my decimal point, decimal T H the t under the tens place and the h under the ninth that is on the hundreds place now here i have my ones and i have tens so these are tens with th these are decimals and these are tens these are whole numbers now let's do the expanded notation. The ones are groups of one, the tens are groups of 10, the tenths are groups of 0 0.1, and the hundreds again is 0 0.01. 0 0.01. Now let's do the expanded notation. Open parentheses, one group of 10, which is 10, plus four groups of one, four times one, plus two groups of one tenth, open parenthesis, two groups of one tenth, plus nine groups of one hundred. How simple is that? Let's solve the third exercise. Copy this number in your journal. I'm gonna go faster because this is the third time we do it. We have the place value chart, decimal, T, 
H, and then we have the ones and tens. These are groups of one, these are groups of 10, 0 0.1, 0 0.01. Parents, is it getting easier? Now let's do the expanded notation. Three groups of 10, two groups of one, zero groups or 0 0.1, which means zero, so we don't write anything, and seven groups of 0 0.01. So we have three times 10, three groups of 10, plus two times one, plus zero, so we don't write anything, or if you want to write a zero, that's fine, and seven groups of 100. Now let's do the last exercise before the math challenge. Before we move on, these are hundreds, whole number, and these are hundreds with th. What do we do first? Our place value chart. We have decimal, th, ones, tens, hundreds, one, ten, hundred, zero point one, zero point zero one. As you can see the pattern, on here we are adding zeros, and here you are adding zeros, but in between the decimal point and the one. So let's say that we have an eight here. This will be thousands and you're gonna write 0 0.001. That is just to show you how the pattern works. So now we're gonna do two groups of 100 plus three groups of 10 plus eight groups of one plus four groups of 0 0.1, 1 tenth, plus three groups of 100. Now, it's your turn. And I want to give a big shout out to Van, Shimon, Jesus, and Leah that sent me this amazing work. It's your turn. Write the number 278 and 56 hundreds in expanded notation. So now, how do you win this? I am posting these videos on Facebook on Learning with Miss M. So for each time that you share them between now and April 15th, you're gonna get one ticket to win. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video with other kids that are learning math. See you in my next video. Bye!